This episode of the ResortLoop.com podcast is brought to you by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Joffrey's is proud to be the official specialty coffee of Disney. Enjoy drinks and pastries at Joffrey's kiosks throughout the parks and check out the Disney specialty coffee collection only at joffreys.com. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now stopping at Disney's Polynesian Resort. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails and stay clear of the doors until the monorail stops completely. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar. This is ResortLoop.com, the gateway to the magic, and this is episode 197. 197, we're getting close to 200, Tim. What happens on episode 200? Episode 200, it's the big ResortLoop.com giveaway. Yes, it is. Very exciting. Where, where are we getting away, away Bob? Well, uh, we're going to give away, uh, of course, the, the two one-day Walt Disney World park hoppers, yes. two oh. pounds of, uh, of delicious Joffrey's coffee. Are we giving away two pins? We're giving away two pins. Two highly coveted pins. The most valuable thing in the prize package. Double coveted, apparently. Yes. And a resortloop.com looper mug. Right. So uh, uh, that's our grand prize giveaway. And uh, all you got to do to enter into that, everyone who's done this so far or done these things so far has already entered. Uh, we're going to just pull from the... the pool of, of names and uh, all you got to do is uh, like us on Facebook uh, sign up for our looper listener uh, list over on our website uh, the email list and uh, retweet uh, any tweets off of our uh, resort loop Twitter account and uh, all those names gonna go into uh, the the uh, randomizer yes and Tim is gonna pull the, uh, the winner out of that so. I'm gonna whip it out. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. I cannot wait uh, to find out who our winner is. That's going to be a nice big uh, prize package there for somebody. Very exciting. We need to mention just real quick that the uh, One Day Park Hoppers are good through October 31st of this year. Oh, that's right. So yeah. we need to give you a reason to get down there. And there you go. There you go. And, uh, of course, all of those uh, prizes, uh, courtesy of our great friends over at Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Uh, and we've got some uh, we've got some news coming from them as well. I, I think coming I, up. I think we're going, I have a little tidbit of information I'm going to mention. Okay, we know that they're sponsoring the Flower and Garden Festival. That, yes, that's already out there. Yes, they're going to have uh, several beverages in their uh, Flower and Garden Passport there. Oh, so as you you know do the circle there and you uh, get those beverages, you can stamp your little passport. I love it, and I want to see those passports stamped on the Joffrey's beverages. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, I want to see somebody. Please send us a picture if you're going to uh, um, uh, food and wine, uh, or as a flower garden, Tim. Flower, flower, and garden. flower and garden in the spring. Uh, if if you're going to flower and garden, please uh, take a picture in front of the uh, Joffrey's um, kiosk there. That'd be awesome. Yeah, some are calling it flower and food because they have a lot of food kiosks there now. But. That's right. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's changed up a little bit. A little yeah. bit. I think. Uh, 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 Food and wine really took off, and they're trying to extend that a little bit. Oh, it's huge. I want to make it for food and wine. Maybe this yeah. year. I don't know. We'll have to see. That would be great. Yes. And don't don't forget, we posted up on our uh, Facebook page and, and kind of sent it around uh, the intranets. Uh, Joffrey's has a fantastic iced Irish coffee uh, recipe out. So uh, take a look at that. You know, and one is uh, spiked and one is not spiked. So Hey, there you go. There you go. So... Tim. Yes, Bob. What are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about another ResortLoop.com listening poll. I love doing the listener polls. I know, I do too. It gives me a whole different insight on the, what's going on in yeah. the world of Disney. Absolutely, and and especially with our uh, the Looper, Looper Nations. Absolutely. Uh, they've, uh, they've, they've got their pulse on everything. They do. They are... Uh, they are the ones that are in the know, and uh, we wanted to know from them, so we put out there, we wanted to know what your top five Disney princesses are. Yes, and there's a lot of them. A lot of them, and very interesting. This is gonna, you're, this might blow your mind a little bit, because are you ready for this? Yes. The, the princess that was voted number one most often 
is not the number one princess. What? What kind of st statistic is that? <laughs> so, in other words, Looper Nation voted this princess number one the most. However, she did not get the most votes that would make her the number one princess overall. Are there hanging chads involved in this? What is going on? Yes. <laughs> we're, we did this from South Florida. Yes, right. So it's all. <laughs> so we're not quite sure what the real answers are. But uh, real quick, I want to throw out uh, uh, some of the things some of our uh, Looper family uh, <laughs> had to say. Uh, Jed Penna, when he was voting, he just said uh, he just let his wife, uh, his beautiful wife and four-year-old daughter answer uh, because, uh, you know, he's a guy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Matt Hero Hayes felt a little bit awkward uh, because they're all, you know, teenage girls. So he just felt a little weird about it. Uh, <laughs> but a uh, good pal and uh, original Super Looper, uh, Joe Quattrochi, uh, he actually voted for one. Uh, I'll throw that out there. Um, Tinkerbell. Oh, she's Tinkerbell. more of a pixie. She's not quite a, a a princess, not official anyway. No. So, but we kind of let this open to, yeah. to everyone. Um, we had uh, we actually had um, uh, Elsa as voted on, on as well, uh, and and actually we had uh, votes for uh, Princess Leia and uh, Princess Amidala from oh, Star that's Wars. Right. So, <laughs> They even got in there. Yeah. And they, they are, you know, official princesses. Uh, another unofficial princess that got a vote, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if you can guess who voted for uh, this princess. Uh, Jiwoo got a vote. Who oh, okay. Do you suppose okay. voted for Jiwoo. I'm gonna say you did. <laughs> no, <laughs> Mr. Woosley. Fish Sean Wu. Of Absolutely. Course, Dad, Dad's a little princess. She Absolutely. is a princess. And let's face it, you know, really, any of our wives or daughters are our number one princesses always. Absolutely. So, um, uh, Benita Polly Brown, Braun, I'm sorry, Braun, uh, you know, her her favorite princess, I'll give give this one away, her favorite princess was Jasmine. Why why would uh, Benita want Jasmine oh. as her favorite? Oh, I know why. It goes back. It goes way back, yeah. Yeah. We talked why? about that on the show that... Uh her uh, future daughter-in-law and her uh, son were uh, Jasmine and Aladdin. That's right. Yeah, that's how they met. So uh, a lot of reasons for why people uh, uh, voted the, the way they did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Jessica Ann Murphy gave us her full-blown reasons for uh, um, why she voted. Go to our website. You can check those out. But uh, she, uh, she also uh, said that uh, Jasmine uh, got honorable mention from her. Because of uh, how that's how her and Tyler met, um, and uh, let's see, Keith White, he said uh, he uh, he felt so creepy as a forty year old man judging the princesses, so he just asked his daughters, uh, yeah, that's a safe seven, call. to do it. Safe call, safe call. <laughs> so uh, everybody uh, in Looper Nation, thank you for uh, uh, voting on these, and uh, we are ready. Are you ready, Tim, to find out? Who the top five Disney princesses are, according to Looper Nation. Okay, give me a moment to prepare. Give me a second. I'm, I'm waiting. All right, I'm ready. Okay. I'm, I'm good. Okay, go All ahead. Right. All right. Uh, before we get started, though, I do have to say that uh, the the number one, the, the princess that was voted number one most often, that did not, was not the number one uh, princess, was actually Cinderella. Ooh. She got the most number one votes. Okay. However, she came in third. Ooh. As far as total vote numbers. Okay. Total vote numbers. Uh, now, our, our lowest voted on princesses, uh, and then we'll start with the top five, but uh, all the princesses got votes, all of them. Uh, but the lowest votes was a tie between Mulan and Pocahontas. Okay. Hmm. They got the lowest number of votes. I don't, I don't know why that is. It, somebody's got to come in toward the bottom, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, somebody. And uh, the very first Disney princess, Snow White, she didn't even finish in the, uh, in the top five. What is wrong with this world? <laughs> she, tied, <laughs> she tied with, uh, with Aurora 
uh, for number six. Okay. Wow. So, or I'm sorry, number seven. And uh, Merida came in uh, uh, number six. So are oh. you ready? Here we go. Uh, see, I've been teasing too long. I know. We uh, lost people now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You've fallen off of the edge of your seat. Now to the top five. Top five Disney princesses voted on by the Looper listener poll. Number five, Jasmine. Ooh. There you go. Everybody likes Jasmine. Yeah, we do. You know, she's a, a, a woman uh, that, that can take care of herself. Yes. Not She doesn't need no Aladdin. <laughs> she likes Aladdin, but she don't need him. Because he's adorable. He is so cute. I'm sorry, I thought we were talking about the other Jasmine and Aladdin. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, coming in uh, at number uh, four, and uh, this princess actually uh, ranked second in the most number one votes. Rapunzel oh, did very well. Very nice. And all she's got is a bathroom. Well, I know I keep saying that. You do. That's. <laughs> I just... I. Oh. They should have given her more. I'm just saying. <laughs> it, I don't it know. could be coming. Uh, as I said before, Cinderella came in number three. So uh, number two for uh, the uh, Looper listener poll is Ariel. Oh. Ariel. So, Very nice. You know, uh, you're seeing most of the newer princesses. Uh, the only old time princess that made the list was Cinderella. The other ones uh, ended up in the uh, the bottom five. So now, before you get to number one, yeah, what's up with Jessica Ann Murphy almost playing Ariel on Broadway? Uh, how about that? That is awesome. Isn't that something? She yeah. has talent. She is a talented young lady and a great uh, YouTube channel she's got over there, and uh, and her her soon to be husband has a wonderful travel YouTube channel. He over does. There. Check them out. Tyler yeah. Travels TV, I believe. Yeah. But I mean, so, Ariel on Broadway, it's kind of a big deal. That's awesome. Eh, you know. Yeah. I w- Tim, I was on Broadway. You were on Broadway, but you almost got hit by a taxi. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what? Uh, ta- tangent. Let's do a little tangent. Was Tony there. Danza driving the there taxi? I, all I wanted to do when I went to New York <laughs> was I wanted to bang on a on, on a hood of a car, uh-huh. a crosswalk, go, hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> I think. I didn't get to do it. You did. It was a police car. It was. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wasn't on Broadway too long. I was running uh, uh, to get off of Broadway. You were off Broadway then. Oh, anyway. All right. all right. Back to the list. Yes. The number one most voted on uh, Disney princess that is number one and dear to all of us, Belle. Oh, Belle. So, and you said before we got started, you said who is your who is your favorite princess? I got to say Belle. Yeah, mine too. Mine too. I like the fact that uh, in the in the uh, animated uh, film that she is, uh, you know, she's willing to sacrifice herself for her family, her father. Yeah. So, I and like she's smart, like to read, educated. There you go. There you go. And uh, our our good, uh, uh, lovely young lady princess from uh, Frozen, Anna, or Anna, she uh, she ended up number eight on the list. Okay. For those in that want to know. Okay, so in a steel cage match, which princess uh-huh. walks out? Oh, steel uh, cage match? I have my own thoughts on this one. Oh, Merida. Exactly. She's scrappy. <laughs> She's scrappy. She's <laughs> Unless they pull her well, hair, then it's, it's a whole a- different issue. <laughs> it's got to be Mulan or Merida. There's no doubt about that. Oh, that's right. That's some martial arts stuff going or, on there. Or Pocahontas. That's going to be a rough. That would be a rough. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Those are your that, final three, I think. Those you got to be. Got to be. Oh, she's good with that bow and arrow too. Yeah. Who's getting? Who's who's out right out of the gate? Oh, right out of the gate. Yeah. A Snow White. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's so wonderful and delicate. And she nice is that she. Yeah, she would be just too nice to people. Yeah, Ariel, I, I think she'd probably go kind of quickly. You think? Yeah. Well, she'd be out of water. I mean, she'd be <laughs> oh. like a fish out of water. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just set him up. You can knock him out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> Rapunzel, she, if she's got that fire, frying pan, though, I don't know. No, that's true. And Belle, so. they probably just ring that bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting terrible. I will She'd say, smack him with a candlestick. Since we're not yeah. off on enough tangents, yeah. Since the movie comes out today, Cinderella, Cinderella, the live action movie, I'm hearing fantastic things about. I can't wait to see it. I'm hearing great things from many different people. I hope so. 
They're saying uh, the story. They're staying really true to the story. They didn't get too crazy, and it's shot beautifully. Yeah, it looks it looks gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. So I'm anxious to see the numbers on that one because I was a little iffy on it there for a while. Yeah, we may go and uh, see that tonight. We haven't decided. Uh, opening night of any Disney movie is usually pretty crowded, so we'll we'll see. We might go this weekend and check it out. If uh, we do that, I'll definitely have a uh, a uh, review for everyone. I have a feeling there'll be lots of little princesses at the movies this weekend. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, going to be a great time uh, for Disney, and uh, we've got a lot of very cool stuff coming out uh, very soon for yeah. Disney. So, uh, looking forward to all of that. And Tim, yes, Bob. That is all I've got. Bob, I love these Looper Listener polls. Me too. They're just fantastic. Everybody, thanks for joining us for this episode. I'm Tim Scott. You can find me on Twitter at Resort Loop Tim. We have the Facebook page, or my Facebook page, Tim, Resort Loop Scott, and the website, ResortLoop.com. I'm Resort Loop Bob on uh, uh, <laughs> Twitter. And everything Instagram. now. I lost, <laughs> I lost myself there. <laughs> Twitter and Instagram, not on everything, unfortunately. Facebook, Zuckerberg caught me. So. Ugh. I am Bob Resort Loop Caller on uh, on Insta or on Facebook. <laughs> oh my my goodness! Uh, and don't forget, please continue to like us on Facebook. Uh, go to our uh, email, sign up for our email on the website, and keep retweeting us for that chance to win our grand prize on episode number two hundred. Fantastic! Make sure you stay tuned. Big things coming, exciting things coming, and you've been listening to the Gateway to the Magic. See you, everybody. <laughs>